Magandang hapon Pilipinas at buong mundo. Naitay kapuso. Pahiram po ng 20 minutes ng inyong hapon. Ako po si Boy and welcome to Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. Sa lahat po ng nanonood sa ating mga live streaming channels sa YouTube at Facebook. At sa lahat ng nakikinig po sa DZEWB, welcome to the program. Proud po ako ngayong hapon. Nay, Tay, Kapuso, please welcome my very special guest. Ang nag-iisang, Janice De Belen. I miss you. I miss you more. I miss you. Maraming maraming salamat. Of course. Pagkakitang pagkakita, blooming. I thank you. Di ba? That's music to any woman's ears. Of course. Thank you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Kumusta? I'm okay. I'm good. Nay, Tay, Kapuso, I'm talking to the original soap opera princess. <laughs> Gusto ko balikan ng konti yun. Floor de Luna Days. Kumusta ang mga araw na yun? When I think about it, I think ang laman ng utak ko was just happy, fun, playing. And then pag uwi, or pag sweldo, I get a toy. <laughs> so... Yes, I was happy. I get the toy pag sweldo. I got it from sources that you were originally supposed to play Wilma. The, Wilma, yeah. the contrabida, mm -hmm. uh, to Julie. Yes. Ano ang kwento? Um, originally, I was supposed to play Wilma because si Julie was going to be Flor de Luna. We're talking about Julie, Julie Vega. Vega. Pero hindi siya nag-materialize because at that time, she already did mga mata ni Angelita. And she she was under contract, I think, with the film studio. So she couldn't do that. Mm -mm. Kaya napunta sa iyo. Kaya napunta sa Ang Flor de Luna. Kumusta yung friendship? How was that uh, friendship or even rivalry, at least on screen, with Julie, uh, Julie Vega? Siguro kasi sa age namin, we weren't really thinking of the competition. Na malaki pala siyang competition. We never thought of it that way. Basta kami, alam namin, I was doing Florida Luna, she was doing Annalisa, magkaiba ng stasyon. But when we were together, when we do movies together for Regal, we were friends, we were okay. We'd get along. Okay. We'd actually have play dates, if that's what you call it, oh, oh. play dates, oh, oh. ay magsiswimming kami, yung ganun. Oh. Napakaswerte mo dahil napakaraming mga batikang direktor ang nagtiwala sa'yo. And I'm talking about not just Tito Ronio, not just, you know, uh, Danny Jalsita, uh, Peke Galiaga, Broca, Yohad Bernal. Kumusta yun, Janice? Now that I think about it, when I look at my filmography, syempre titignan mo yung mga director, mm -hmm. naiisip ko, wow, I am really proud of my roster of directors na nakatrabaho ko kasi most of them are not here anymore. So, right. the younger some generation... Some are national artists. Some are national artists. And some of them, the younger generation will never get to work with and experience working with it. And I've worked with them. Mm -mm. Let's talk about their styles para lamang mas maliwanag para sa amin. Let, si, si Chito, paano, paano mag-direct sa kanyang artista? Sa si Chito, my first... We're talking about Chito Ronyo. Feeling ko, sinusukat niya yung galing mo or what you can do as an actress. So, normally kasi, yung director naman will make you do a rehearsal kahit wala pang feelings. Okay. Basta marinig lang niya yung lines para ma-block ka niya. Si Chito, hindi. He had me do my... Full lines, ah, ang haba ah, ang haba ng lines ko, with blocking and with feelings. Pinagawa niya yata sa akin ng mga six times. Rehearsals ito? Rehearsal. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh, that was the first day lang. The following days, hindi na siya ganun. So feeling ko, susukating ano ka niya. Ano yun, Like, he brings you two spaces. Like, for example, o oh, dito ka, if it's uh, four lines, uh, two, three minute uh, monologue, for example, Chito, I, I was walking. Walking? Kami ni Julio Diaz, we were walking. We were walking. Pa, okay. Lakad kami. Lakad? And then? Lakad kami. So, pinagawa niya sa amin. Chito is not a, He doesn't motivate you. He doesn't tell you, Oh, Janice, dapat dito ka. Ganito dapat ang feelings mo. Wala siyang ganyan. Yung sasagot niya sa'yo, that's not my job. I'm a director. You're an actress. That's your job. Let's okay. talk about Jalsita. Jalsita. Si Jalsita, 
You just show up. He'll call you. Oh, ah. Uh, pwede ka ba dito? Yan. He'll ask my mom and my dad. Pwede ba siya dito? Ganyan, ganyan. Okay. Pagdating mo doon, wala kang story. You don't know what's going to happen. Okay. Ganito lang. Sasabihin niya, oh, anak ka ni... Anak ka ni Loris, anak ka ni Dindo. So, ganyan. Anak ka. Yan lang alam mo. And then, you don't even have a script. All right, and then... Eh, di ba sa artista, importante may script eh. Oh, 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 okay. You don't have a script. So, ito, upo siya. Bigay siya ng lines. So, memorize mo na yung lines mo. Then he asks you to rehearse again. He doesn't give you the same lines. He changes the lines that you just memorized. Okay. Till finally, paulit-ulit yon. Kasi siya, it has to feel right. It has to sound right. Plus, yung story niya just flows from I don't know where. Let's go to Peke, Galiaga. Si Peke. Si Peke, he is a big fan of not acting. Acting, but not acting. Ayaw niya lang, ina-acting mo. Ayaw. But how do you do that, Janice? How do you not act an acting part? I cannot answer. I don't know how to answer that. Para sa isang layman, para sa manunod ng pelikula, ang hirap nun, no? That's why I always say that one of the hardest jobs in this world is being an actor. Ah, uh, Lino. Alam ko na, uh, National Artist for Film, Lino Broca. Um, when I was Kasi doing... style ni Lino. Uh, I think I failed Lino. Bakit? Kasi when we were doing Flor de Luna, and then when I started doing movies, um, syempre ang main trabaho ko is to cry to produce tears, okay? I produce a lot of them. So, at times, nakukuha ko yung on cue, nakukuha ko yung one tear lang na pumapatak. Um, so, sinasabi na ko, pwede ka kay Lino Broca. Pwedeng-pwede ka sa kanya. Kaya mo yung on cue. Maybe hearing it so many times, yung paulit-ulit mong narinig, nagkaroon ako ng chance to work with him. And on that day, I wasn't even able to produce not one tear. Hala? Not one tear. Can you imagine how frustrating and how scared and embarrassed I was? But of course, I was only 15. Pero still. Anong ginawa ni Lino? Hinihintay ko na nga lang magalit siya sa akin eh. Hindi siya nagalit? No, because he said, okay, good. Alam mo yung tagal ko nakatingin sa kanya. Tapos sabi niya sa akin, doesn't matter. Sabi niya, I saw the feelings. As long as they were there, it's fine. Bernal. Isa na lang. Bernal. Alam mo si Bernal. Big <laughs> movement siya, di ba? <laughs> Pero okay ako sa kanya. Importante lang kay Bernal is you listen and you follow. Paano yan? Yung itinuturo niya kung saan ka pupunta, nasaan ang kamay mo? Alam mo, you have to watch, ha? Kasi yeah. mabilis siya kumilos. Hey, ganito. Hey, hey. Ayan. Ayan. As in, literally ganun. Ganun! Kalaki yung movements uh -oh. niya. So, susundin so, mo yan? Oo. Oh, oh. So, talagang titingin ka sa kanya and you will, kung pwede kang magsulat ng by number ng gagawin niya, you'll have to do it. Because that's who he is, di ba? So, kailangan lang okay. talaga mabilis ka. Mas kailangan nakikinig ka. As an actor, ano yung pinaka mahalagang leksyon na pwede mong maibahagi sa amin? Discipline. Discipline. Um, listening. And coming on time. That's very important. I'm ano eh. Uh, medyo OA ako pagdating sa time. Kahit na nung bata ako, you know, my 8 a.m. on the set will always be 7.30. There are times naging 7 o'clock pa yan. Kasi takot na takot akong malit. Because for me, the biggest disrespect to another person and is when you don't show up on time. I agree. Dito, disiplinado kami sa fast talk. And we're about to do it. <laughs> okay. Janice. I did my research. <laughs> yeah. I did my research. Of course. We have two minutes to do this and our time begins now. Horror, drama. Drama! Flor de Luna, Rosenda. Rosenda. 14 going steady or life begins at 40? Life begins at 40. Moments of love or truly? Truly. <laughs> <laughs> Kung gamit ka sa kusina, ano ka? Ako ay kaldero. Makikikain sa inyo si Limin Ho. Anong lulutuin mo? Adobo. Ididate ka ni Song Joong Ki sa Pinas. Saan mo dadalhin? 
sa bahay? Dapat. <laughs> <laughs> Dapat. Umaga o gabi? Gabi. Aso, giraffe? Aso. Walang ligo, walang makeup? Walang makeup. Pera, awards? Pera na lang. Best actress, best cook? Best cook. Pupunta ka sa moon. Tatlong bagay na dapat dala mo. Cellphone, kumot, charger. <laughs> Laugh trip, road trip. Road trip. Ugali mo na ayaw ni Jelly. Ni Jelly, uh, secretive. Ana, totoo yun. <laughs> Anak naman ang mana sa'yo. Si Ina. Unang ginagawa pag gising. CR. May gustong pumorma kay Janice de Belen. Anong sasabihin mo? Next lifetime na lang. Your guilty pleasure. Watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs> lights on or lights off? Lights off. Happiness or chocolates? Chocolates. <laughs> Best time for happiness. What is happiness? <laughs> <laughs> I am Catherine Janice de Belen and I am. I am Catherine Janice de Belen and yes, I am human. Oh. Ilang katanungan? Number one, how important are awards to, to you, Janice? Nasaan ka ngayon sa buhay mo bilang babae? Are you still willing? Are you, do you even think about getting married again? Ang mga kasagutan sa pagbabalik po ng Fast Talk with Boy. Back to the show with Janice. Let's talk about awards. Gaano kahalaga yun sa'yo? Awards, I've never really... Um, made it as a made it as my goal. I, I, it was always do your 100% no matter what it is. If you win an award for it, be thank you. It's a bonus to me. Pero you've done some materials na ang palagay ko, you've got a lot of nominations. You're one of the most nominated actress. Happy na ako doon, Tito Palaga. Boy. Kasi, it is still a matter of taste. Kasi syempre, Tama. sa mga awards na yan, there are jurors. There are um, a pool of people who will watch mimili. your work na mamimili, magde-decide if they like it or not. Um, it's a matter of taste. Ako, I'm already happy masabi mo lang that, that I did a good job. Kung mas maraming beses ko yun maririnig, kesa sa na-nominate ka, nanalo ka, tapos sa sa next project mo, talo ka naman. Okay. <laughs> Di ba parang, it brings you down harder. Kesa sa lagi kang nominated, kahit di ka manalo, mm -hmm. May ano ka bang pupuntahan? Uh, tawid tayo doon sa nasaan ka ngayon bilang babae. Maybe I'm in a different phase of my life because I'm not getting any younger, but um, doesn't seem much different from the way it was last 10 years ago. Okay. But, but what, what phase is that? You have children. Uh, you have work. Uh, my children are all grown up. My youngest is 25 years old. Diba? So... Pretty soon, I am going to be an empty nester. I'm a grandma to four children. So, you know, I'm good. Okay. Uh, this is not in the present tense. This can be uh, sa tanang, sa buong buhay mo. Gaano kahalaga ang lalaki sa konsepto ng kaligayahan ni Janice de Belen? Ngayon, ang lalaking importante na lang sa akin ay tatay ko at saka yung mga anak kong lalaki at saka yung grand, yung apo kong lalaki. Mm -hmm. Yun na. But there was a point... Minsan, minsan, yung mga k-drama, yun, mga sila, oo, minsan importante sila sa akin. Pero yun na lang. Everybody wanted to be Janice de Belen. Oh my God, I know. Naalala mo? Yes. I mean, Agamulak, Gabi Concepcion. Yeah, people still tell me about that. Up to this day. Up to this day. Di ba? Na para bagang, uh, gusto ba nila ako o gusto nila akong tirisin? <laughs> Di ba? Kumusta yung mga, mga panahon na yun? What was your view of men? Wala naman akong view. Pag type ko sila, type nila ako, eh di ko, syempre, di ba? Ang saya, di ba? Um, I never had a, a very deep view of those things. Ah, wala? Oo. Wala. Yung parang masaya kayo. Syempre, nung nag-asawa ko, it was different. Uh, kasi parang feeling mo, yun na yung true love mo, yun yung forever mo. And then, when it fails, then you try and love again, then it fails, and... Okay, maybe I should stop doing this. Okay. Kasi fail ka ng fail eh. Baka hindi yung para sa'yo. If you were to write your epitaph, sige nga, uh, in the context of men, 
<laughs> ang kinainggitan. <laughs> No, because remember... Wait, kayo ang nagsabi niya na, hindi ako. Ako, ako ang nagsabi. Ako. Okay. W what is your all-time favorite quote? Ngayon. Ngayon? Ito na lang siya. Which is? Love yourself. Oo. Oh. So I think as we go through life, we forget ourselves. It doesn't matter what. Or pag-parent ka, minsan, ang lahat, ang mundo mo, ang sentro ng mundo mo are your children. And then you forget yourself. Because when your children leave home, when they fly, when they leave the nest, paano ka na? Madidepress ka, malulungkot ka, kasi malalaki na sila. Di ba? I, I... Yeah. Tapos, boyfriends. You tend to give everything to your boyfriends or to whoever it is that you're with. Nakakalimutan mo yung sarili mo. And you know, pag nag-break kayo, paano na? Yeah. Madidevastate ka. <laughs> You'll be left in pieces. Yeah. Are you too hurt? In the words of Bam, are you too broken to fall in love again? I've never really thought of that, yung too haven't. broken. But now that you brought it up, I think I'm broken enough. I've been broken enough. And I want to say this as a friend. And I think that pain, that brokenness, must be respected. By us, your friends, by family. Because that is an experience that is so personal. I cannot even imagine how I can tell you that I know what you're going through or exactly. what you went through. Because the concept of brokenness, the yung, yung pain, that yun, you are the one who has it. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, alam ko naman that everybody who wants to say, no, 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 means broken, well. Means well. Uh -huh. But this is my story. This is how I felt. And I'm done with that. And I totally understand. That brings me to another big word. Have you forgiven? Oh, no man, tito boy. Because I will not get to this stage in my life. Ko hindi ako na tuto magpatawan. And I think that was the first. That was the first thing that I wanted to do was forgive. But forget is another story. I totally understand. I'd like to end this conversation by doing a heart-to-heart -heart talk. We have about two minutes to do this, but uh, just tell me... Hindi pa ba yun heart-to-heart? -heart hindi, hindi pa. Hindi pa. Meron pa. Oh, meron, meron pa. Meron pa. Two minutes to do this and just tell me, you know, the words that uh, you want to say. Last night of the world, nasaan ka at sinong kasama mo? Mga anak ko, in my house. Dinner for three. Sino ang iimbitahan mo? Si Limino at si Song Jong Ki. Ubigay mo na sa akin yun, dito boy. Correct. Ang pangatlo? <laughs> ah, tatlo. tatlo. Kulang pa ako ng isa. Ikaw ang host. Cameraman para ma-document. Okay. <laughs> Janice, what do you know about love for sure ngayon? That it should be given in restraint. Can you respect someone who doesn't agree with your politics and religion? Maybe not. Who are you when no one is watching? I'm the same, just quieter. What is worse than betrayal? Disrespect. Is it kindness or love? Wow. Kindness. Will you ever kill someone? I won't know unless I'm in the moment. You are the pearly gates. God is there. And he says, my daughter, before you enter heaven, tell me, what was the best thing you did for me? Anong sasabihin mo sa Panginoong Diyos? Never stop believing. Mm. Maraming salamat. The one Thank and the you, only, Janice Thank DeBelen. Thank you, Tito Boy. I love you. Thank you I so much. You. Thank you very it much. It was fun. It's always fun being here. It's always fun being with you. Maraming maraming salamat for your time. Uh -oh. For your love. Thank you. Night Thank ay kapuso, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpapatuloy sa amin, sa inyong mga puso at tahanan. Be kind. Make your nana and tatay proud. Hashtag say thank you. And do one good thing a day, just one isa lang, and make this world a better place. Goodbye for now. God bless. <laughs>